Hello, today we'll be working on a little trinket box and we'll be using metal leaf for gilding. Um, as you can see in this one I used the silver metal leaf that covers the whole surface of the top of the box and it's aged a little bit with bitumen and antique paint and we'll be using also the acrylic molds this time the decorations the um they are from acrylic paste not modeling clay as traditionally and a few more decors here and i also attached the little legs to the box and we're gonna make a similar one today but with the gold leaf <clears throat> so first here is the base of our box as you can see it's all painted dark brown almost black acrylic and i already attached the little legs and the bottom of it is varnished with the gloss varnish so we will be applying some little decors on the sides on the edges and then varnish and we'll start with this then so there will be hinges going here at the back so this is our front and we have some of those <coughs> decors and as you can see they are very flexible very soft so you can really put them on any kind of a surface you want these were made from acrylic paste you put them in the molds and you leave them for about 20 hours and they are ready okay so I'm gonna use the same kind of uh, um, design as here right, so. I'll place this one here <coughs> they are from as I said the acrylic paste they're gold but um, you can still age them a little bit with bitumen or some waxing later on and maybe I will use So just see how much of the I just have to <coughs> cut some of those pieces. I cut four of them. <clears throat> and we'll put them on the edges. These headed on the sides, but like for this one, I'll do it on the front. And the same for the back. Here. <clears throat> and we can leave it to dry a bit and then we will varnish and edge 
and um, age it a bit now we're gonna do the main part which is the top with the metal leaf gilding so what I have here is that I painted the top already with some brown acrylic and now we will be applying the metal leaf the metal leaf that I have today is the one in the foil form although you can get um, those tiny little bits as well it's just that then it's more time consuming to assemble all those tiny little leaves now you need to cover the surface first with this special glue which is for the metal leaf glue again this one is from cadence but um, you can get pentart and daily art as well that make that type of glue so we we apply a little of the glue on the surface the whole surface because as I said we'll be covering the whole of it and we need to leave it for a little bit till it not doesn't well and not dry completely but um, become a little bit less sticky so I'll take a little break here and now it's fine so we can start applying the metal leaf so we take a um, piece of it try to put it over and the best for this is to use some um, type of a makeup brush and just go over it delicately as you can see <coughs> this side a little bit missing a bit on the edge so <coughs> I'm gonna put a bit more so the edge And as you can see, I just brush off the excessive amount of it. <clears throat> and I can now, because the glue, as I said, was kind of halfway dry that's why once you apply the leaf it's already fine just good to rub it a little bit with a piece of cloth and we want to add age this one a little bit so i'm gonna use a bit of bitumen liquid bitumen Wrap it with a piece of cloth, just a little bit here and there. And I'm, I'm going to actually have a little bit of that kind of cracks on it. Maybe a little bit of the aging paint. <clears throat> it's an antique paint. Oh, I have some of those. 
hex that I wanted, but if you don't want, you can always just wrap less and then you will still have just the total covering. Alright, so this and before I secure this with the varnish, I'm gonna apply another little decor on this one. But then I could varnish the whole thing. Now this is just a little wooden decor and decoupaged with a piece of rice paper. So let's say I put it here. And I still have some of these little <coughs> acrylic paste decors. Maybe one here. Maybe we put this one here. Again, it has to be cut a little bit. Maybe here. Still a little bit too long, I'll cut later when it dries a bit. Right. Maybe a bit of this, okay, you can measure. Much <clears throat> as I said, these are very nicely flexible, so they are relatively easy to apply. On this side, yeah. <clears throat> and now the next step is to secure that with <clears throat> varnish. And the thing is that if you're using the metal leaf, um, the varnish that you have to use, um, you need um, a solvent-based varnish. And again, I'm going to use, oh, maybe this one can actually see, it's clear varnish gloss. It's solvent-based. This one is from Pentart. Um, but again, you can get it from other companies as well. Remember that if you use this varnish and the brush you will need 
the white spirits later for the brush just don't put it in the water otherwise it will be ruined okay so just and just get a new brush and just a second and we'll be doing this varnishing okay so um we'll be applying one layer and once it's dry we can do a bit of more aging on the decors and then apply the second layer I just need to open a bit this is sticking a little bit too much <clears throat> gives that nice shiny finish and it protects the metal leaf from uh, getting kind of like if you were to use the water-based varnish it would just become lose that metal thing with time and oxidize and cover with some kind of a nasty patina Right, varnish the whole book, <coughs> including the image <coughs> there. And once the varnish is still wet, as I said before, we will apply the second layer. I'm gonna use a little bit of those tiny micro beads, they're golden, and sprinkle them gently. Same as in this one, as you can see, there are some of them used here. <coughs> Once the varnish is wet, they just stick to it nicely. Okay, and maybe, <coughs> maybe a few more here. And now we just leave it to dry for a while so just put it to the side here and in the meantime you can get back to this one and i'm gonna use a bit more bitumen for the molds so just cover them some bitumen <clears throat> I can apply it with a brush and then just wipe off most of it so all we want is just some of it to stay in those crevices but you still want to have that gold color coming through. Now this one had those decors as well here. Um, no, I think that's enough for this one to be honest. Although I don't need oh, it maybe a little bit actually. <clears throat> <clears throat> and still a bit of bitumen for those all right and for this part of the box since it's just wooden box we're gonna use just the regular water-based varnish I'm gonna use this one with the gloss finish and 
<clears throat> the varnish all over the including those decors But again, we just leave it to dry. Now I can put a little bit of <coughs> lithium or aging paint over decors again. Wipe off the excess. <coughs> It's too much. <clears throat> but <clears throat> do a bit of a bristle spray. And as I said, now we just <coughs> leave it to dry. Um, this solvent-based varnish needs some time to dry, unfortunately. But as you can see, that's going to be our final effect. And once everything is dry, just assemble the box together, put the hinges on, and that's done so now we will have two of those silver and golden leaf gilding thank you